Hey everyone, welcome back. Tech It Light, Rise of the Machines with Media. And as you can see right over the top of my head is the little symbol off the dollar bill. Dollar bill, y'all, dollars. So we're going to continue on from last episode. We were working on the monitors, the panels, the panel extenders. We're going to call them monitors, computer monitors. So as we went over all this stuff, oh, the one thing I didn't point out last episode was these are these are just displays. You can kind of like highlight certain materials that you want like I wanted to know iron and diamonds so they're monitors it tells you how much is actually in the system there's a lot of little things like this that not super useful unless maybe like it's in a factory and there's something you want to be monitoring a specific item and just at a glance without having to look into anything so that's what that stuff is doing it's just monitoring how many how much iron is in the system and how many diamonds are in the system so the other thing I need to work on, I do need to f figure out or f find out what do I want to do with, <clears throat> excuse me, all of this. This was the chest from my quarries, so I'm fine with I'm fine with most of this. It's the it's the maceration of some of this into dust and then back. So I do need to work on that. Um, I actually. I, if I ask, I think if I ask this thing to craft iron dust, right? See, I've got so much iron dust already. Um, if I take all of this out of there, what if I take this all out of there and then I want... Begin. Haha. <laughs> It's working. It's working. So I asked for more, way more than I had in the system. What that has done, and this was from a couple episodes ago, but it's pulling, yep, look at that. It's pulling out of here, digitizing it, literally. Like it's digitizing it through, putting it in the macerator. And it just keeps adding. It's going to keep adding to that. It should take that. Oh, I'm asking for dust, but from there I need to also ask for, oh, I've got a lot of iron in the system though. Well, you know what? I'm, I'll make all the dust first, and then I will ask for, we're going to put this back up in the system. We'll ask for the iron and convert that later on. So let's start off, and that's important because we're probably going to utilize, I would imagine, this guy right here. We're going to liquid sensor that thing. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach that all the way up top. You know what? Maybe we'll start down here with one. Oops. I wanted to do them all up there, but I think I want to... I'll start right here, maybe against this wall here. Yeah, let's do that. little change in plans. Um, black wool. Black, black wool. All right. Um, da, 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 da. Panel information. All right. Let's, let's do it like this. We may change this later, but we're going to do it one, two, three, four. That'll give us three. Let's try this. All right, so we start off with the information panel. That's going to look stupid. Go up the side like that, and then I need I need a lever. We're going we're gonna to find out exactly how convenient... Um, that this is the way you know there okay that works through there now we need the panel extenders how big was should we make this should we always go big all right so I need panel we didn't make enough I need more panel extenders let's make 10 look at that BAM auto crafting time that see at that point when you get to the point where you've encoded the patterns and the <laughs> I mean Instead of going through and going, oh, I gotta make this and do this, you know what I mean? It's in there, ready to craft. I think that is awesome. How big should we make this? That big? That's pretty good. All right. Uh, mm hmm. Oh, I knew I was gonna do that. Flight controls, meaty flight controls. There we go flight controls 
All right, so here's what we got. Here is what we got. We've got an information panel. We're going to start with this bad boy. So you can see it's green. We could, yeah, let's just do it like this. All right, so what we're going to do first and foremost is we're going to take a liquid sensor kit. Let's do this. Liquid sensor kit, baby. Liquid time. This lava is feeding this geothermal generator which is feeding the macerator and our furnace which right now is currently cooking up the old um, iron to dust all right so I just right clicked on this block what that gave us was a liquid sensor location card and you can see x16 y65 minus 207 which is where we're at look at the minimap so it, it identifies the block right pretty simple liquid uh, power depending on what kit you use it'll change the kit into a card so now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be monitoring that block right there to make sure it's always full mm-hmm now there's probably a different a better way I could have done that since I've got tanks um, hooked up together but that's what we were gonna do now when you come over to this thing you want to click on the one that is the um, the actual information panel not the extenders right you don't want to click on the extenders so let's start off by taking our liquid sensor location card and put this bad boy right there this allows you to let's see liquid name amount uh, free capacity fill percentage I like having a lot of information so um, let's call this what are we gonna call this um, lab one lava supply lab one lava supply okay now what else do we want to do to this thing we want to add a color upgrade right so if we add a color upgrade screen color black right text color my favorite color is blue all right now nah, look at that look how good that looks let's turn it on out of range derp you sir are out of range all right that's what these are for range upgrades well oh, it only took one nice all right let's look and see what this says lab one lava supply name lava amount 64 a thousand free zero capacity 64 thousand it's a hundred percent full so that's a pretty generic one you know the the ability to um monitor that i don't know it's a pretty big screen for for just that now the thing you can do is you can come in here and yank this out and put it somewhere else like if we want to we want to make this something different you can just pull this card out and move it to a different location if you want which we might do that seems kind of big for for that one other thing I guess we could do what else would we want to monitor um, down here because it, it looks like we could do it with one range upgrade I may need to pause and make another one of these because they're kind of a pain um, do we have we have a couple of these energy sensors I don't know a hundred percent I know you can what you want to do is like monitor your MFSU's right so if we go down I have an MFSU right there but it's not being used it's being charged it's being charged but it's not being used it's kind of a dumb location for that um, what I'm thinking about doing is I could split that up into two screens ah uh, for now we'll leave this one and we'll go upstairs and do do what we want to do with the other ones it seems like it's a lot of um that's a lot of screen space for just that that lava supply so we'll, we'll do end up doing something different with that one i think eventually get up there let's go all the way up right now all the way up to the top here's what we're going to do with this one so you saw what we did with the liquid, right? We just right clicked on it. Now, what we have up here is we have one, two, three, and we have four different MFSUs. Yeah, we have two different two different arrays up there. One I think is medium voltage, that center area there. Alright, so what we want to monitor now. 
I don't think that I'm going to be concerned with these being separate. This will be like MFSU Power Globe, right? And there's four of them. So we're going to right click on that one. Show that location there. And I hope this works. All right. We're going to right click on. Why you no work? Oh, it's this one. Derp. That's the. Uh... Right click on that one. And that one. All right, that gave us four cards. Those are the um, transformers. Derp. They all look the same. They all look the same, man. Oh. All right, so now we need to do. We have our time card, and we have these four guys here. Cool. Panel extenders and information panel. Black wool. Maybe we'll, we're gonna put these probably in the wall. Let's start off. Would you quit blinking? Dude, stop blinking. That's making me nervous. All right. Here, I think... Well, that's going to look a little goofy. Let's do... I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do here on this one. Color upgrades. What should we do? 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 Problem with these are... How far back? I think I will put my lever back there like that right you don't need to turn them off really I mean do you all right let's do color upgrade let's do a time card in this one right we're gonna call this um, world clock and we will check and we'll do the same color. Let's just stick with the same colors. World clock. Hey, why you no change? There we go. The world clock. So that's the time card that we put in there, right? It displays the time. Kind of... <laughs> Is it really useful? I don't know. But, but it's cool, right? It's cool. World clock. Um, all right, we're out of... We're out of panels, so go for some panel time. What do we need? Ten of them? Uh-oh. It only made eight. I must be out of something. That's bad. Oh, it crafted those. wonder what I'm out of. Hmm. I must be out of something. I can actually go down to that... Um, there, there, it'll tell you like what's missing, right? It'll tell you what's missing. I wonder if that that one will fire up one right here. No, nope. give me. Don't ever punch your monitor. It's bad for the. Oh my gosh. It's bad for the monitor. Give me that stuff. Give me that. Give me it. All right, fish, you have served your purpose well, my friends. You have... Man, it's getting hot in my office. Woo! All right, so we'll do that. Put you back there, and we're going to put... Turn that on and put that right there. Oh, I put a panel extender. I didn't want a panel extender. I extended the world clock out for no reason. There we go. All right, now in this one, let's just go with... Um, a text card and a color upgrade and the text will be meaty meaties and we're going to go to here lab um what is this one um lab number two meaties lab number two Let's see if we change the colors Meaty's lab number two. That looks kind of goofy. We'll change that later. All right, now it's time to go with our other setup, which is going to be one, two, three. Let's see if we do four. We might we might actually extend it out after. Um, out of levers. Lever time. Thank you. Uh -huh. You go right back there. Now we need to turn that guy on and put the extenders right like that. Now, here's the thing. We can put this one in here like that. 
Oh no, 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 I don't, oh please, range, oh thank goodness, woo! I didn't want to have to make more up range upgrades, man. All right, so you can see that we just have the one in there and it's saying energy, blah, 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 blue, right? Saying all that stuff. But what I want to do is I want to combine all of these. So we could take any one of these and monitor, monitor what we've got going in those um, MFSUs up there. But I don't want to do that. I want to combine them together. So if you're not careful, you put it in here, it gives you back two electronic circuits, apparently. But if you put two together, it gives you an energy array location card. Three cards, four cards. You can do, I think you can do up to six cards, maybe four or six cards. So I'm combining all four of those MFSUs up top, right? I'm going to take this out, and we're going to put it in here should give us a lot of information oh yeah look at that <laughs> now that looks good lot of info lot o info let's get some color going on this bad boy oh look at that look at black and red do 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 that's like energy color what would the uh might be better than it's kind of cool as you can see it right here while you're changing the colors get an idea that doesn't look bad that looks terrible that looks terrible yeah yeah no yellow might look cool actually this that one looked cool I kind of like that one right there I don't know what do you guys think I don't like that it's all the way up top I wish it was a little bit taller in here, but that one's all the way up there too, so that's okay, I guess. I'll probably have to. I'll probably make this bigger and make it look like uh, something a little different. Different one on top of the other with an extender that might look better. Um, eh, 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 eh. actually, let's do that now. Can you pull this out. Give me that. Give me. Give me. Thank you put this away put that away and we're going to put an extender on there for the world clock that looks a little bit better you know the single block world clock time is 1409 nice we'll save the meaties lab for somewhere else this actually might look better with more it needs to be bigger so if we if you want to extend them you just put more panel extenders in here um, what if, if we went to the floor? There's so much information in here that it it's gonna keep it's keeping it small. It's like you it's not even using these sides. So what we can do is say, um, forget the free space. What's the summary? Energy storage fill. That's a little bit better. Each card info. Fill percentage fills 100%. Energy and storage. If we get rid of storage, see what that looks like. Whoa. Now we're talking a lot of numbers there. Lot of the numbers. Huh. Now that it's bigger, I don't think I like the way it looks. So <laughs> maybe we'll just keep everything looking the same. Whoa, I put S on it. Um, all right, so we want to la label these. This is um, the power sphere. Was it S H S P H E R E? Oop. S P H E R E, right? Power sphere. M F S use use. <laughs> is that a term? Use. Oops. You guys ever seen um? What was it? My cousin Vinny. The two Utes. What did you say? Did you say Utes? I'm sorry, Your Honor. Youths. <laughs> My cousin Vinny's a funny movie. That is funny. You got to watch it like a couple times though. Like once you... <laughs> it's pretty funny. I don't know if you like that stuff. So the Power the power Sphere MFSU chart right there. I'm liking it. So you can see what we're going to be doing here. This wall here now is officially... 
this wall and this wall is officially going to be the um, information area. So we might as well, because that green, the green is, is super ugly to me. It's super ugly. I do like the black and I do like the blue writing. So it's like the solar array MFSU, that's actually the ones on the roof of this. That's That one is actually the one that powers this up my HV charging bench, right? That's what that is monitoring there. And then you got this, and then you got this. Pretty cool, I like it. I like it a lot. What do you guys think? Those are pretty cool. I looked, so, oh, I ran out of time. We're gonna have to do dimensional doors next episode. Dimension, I'm, I'm excited and nervous at the same time for them. What else do I, before I go, we have, we're monitoring down there the lava. Right, we're monitoring down there the lava, which really should be monitored up here. Um, but that's going to take more upgrades, and I, I didn't do the um, upgrades. I didn't do the an encoder for those, but that's okay. I can make those. That really should be up here. I should be monitoring energy. See, this is like main energy for the world. The power sphere is, is the, my main energy so far for the whole area. This here was something I made up early on just to kind of get it going, uh, get the panel up because I thought it looked cool. Um, so that may change. That may change. I'm going to leave the world clock there. I like that. But I may want to put the, uh, the lava here so it's up here, right? I mean, I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool though. So that's it. Next episode, we're going to... We're going to dabble. I may do a little bit more here, but we're going to mess around with these dimensional doors. Now, I'll pick, I guess, I don't know what. We're going to have to mess with it when we go in there. But um, there's some warp. I read there's warp doors. There's pocket dimensions. I don't know. We're going to find out. Stay tuned. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Tech It Light, Rise of the Machines with Medius. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time.